Hey, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas, SD Rover. Today I'm out uh, in uh, San Diego and Mission Bay, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the Land Rover Terrain Response System. Really, the Land Rover developed the terrain response system back in uh, with the Discovery 3 in 2004. Uh, there is an original terrain response system that Land Rover had, and then in later models they went to an automatic version, which means instead of manually uh, setting the terrain mode that you want, uh, you set it on auto and the vehicle would decide which would be the most appropriate mode for the conditions of the terrain that you're on right now. So on the Land Rover terrain systems, there's five different modes. Uh, the first one just being general, and uh, the LR4 is in four-wheel drive all the time. Uh, this would be for hard surfaces, um, asphalt, uh, wooden planks. The next mode is grass, gravel, and snow. Now think of this as uh, slippery surfaces, but um, slippery surfaces kind of at the top, but then um, a little bit firmer underneath. So number four is sand. Uh, now being out in Anza Borrego as much as I am, this is a mode that I use utilize a lot. And then the last one is a rock crawl. So rock crawl, uh, and we're going to talk about the, the kind of the tendencies of each of these modes. So as I said, the uh, general mode is really where you're at most of the time, and this is for hard surfaces, um, asphalt, things of that nature. And then grass, gravel, and snow is a firm base um, with loose top layer. So examples of that would be water, slime, grass, snow, loose gravel, shale, pebbles, thin layer of sand, and ice. So that that's when you want to go ahead and utilize that mode. And then what that optimizes for is when active, the terrain response system selects settings to enhance traction, handling, and drivability in slippery conditions. Most gradual torque delivery to avoid uh, slip. So um, the system doesn't allow you to step on the accelerator and really accelerate quickly. It modulates that so that you don't spin right away. Uh, throttle lift off filter eliminates sudden torque reduction. So if you let off the gas, it's not going to jerk and, and start that slipping again. Uh, in low range, HDC, which is hill descent control, will automatically engage but, be, but can be manually deactivated. So if you're going down a hill, slippery hill descent will help you uh, activating the individual brakes on the wheels to keep you kind of in control. Um, it, in the case of deep snow driving, it might be helpful, obviously, to deactivate the dynamic stability control, which is DSC. So next one is uh, mud and ruts. Uh, in Southern California, I, I have to say we don't get into that situation as much, although I was out in Anza Borrego earlier this, um, this year, very wet season, and did get in some mud. Um, what does... What uh, mud does is ground that is muddy, deeply rutted, uneven, soft, and requiring maximal, maximum axle displacement. Also sizable wooden debris like uh, brush, brushwood, uh, roots, or small logs. Uh, best used in low range, but it's all, also available in high range if you want. And uh, vehicle height will automatically adjust. So part of the Land Rover uh, terrain system is it works together with the air suspension and depending on which mode you're in it'll lift the suspension up a little bit uh, to give you that more ground clearance when it's appropriate. So this uh, mud and ruts optimizes for thr throttle response, gradual increase in power to prevent wheel spin, transmission best in drive using command shift for first and second gear descending a slippery slope, 
Air suspension triggers an automatic height increase and HTC automatically engages in low range. Now the next uh, one, again my favorite, is sand. Sand is really for uh, soft, dry, and yielding sand, beaches, dunes, and deserts. Damp sand, best to use um, mud ruts program. So if it's wet sand that's, that's, that's really wet, mud ruts. If it's drier sand, uh, which you typically get out in the desert, uh, then you're gonna want to use um, sand mode. And sand mode optimizes for engine management, alteration of the engine throttle management, keeping engine revs higher to avoid loss of momentum. Electronic stability control modulates the electronic stability control, ESC, will reduce or eliminate entirely when in sand mode. So this is really handy. Um, it, it doesn't turn it off completely, but it will modulate it. Uh, so when the vehicle starts to do, to take these, um, you know, starts to swerve and stuff, uh, the system is automatically want to going to want to kick in and get that get that shut down. But in sand, that's kind of unavoidable. So it's going to modulate that. So it uh, keeps you safe, but also allows you to do that uh, kind of squiggling around to get up the hill or down the hill or whatever you're doing. Um, if you get stuck in sand, it may be helpful to turn off the DSC. Uh, again, caution and be sure to turn that back on right away. And electronically controlled differentials will continuously adjust to optimize both traction and stability. Now the last one is a rock crawl, and think of rock crawling as you're going down this, uh, this road, big rocks. Um, what you want is, is, is slow, controlled movement. So you don't want anything fast because if you get, get bumping on the rocks, you're going to go up and down and you're going to absolutely end up, you know, putting your oil pan on a rock or, or, or something like that. Rock crawl can only be um, selected in low range. It's for wet or dry, solid, unyielding ground, such as a cluster of boulders, riverbed with uh, submerged rock features. So I'll show you a clip of me going through a creek in Anza Borrego. This is a great place that you'd want to put that on because underneath the water where you couldn't see it were these rocks. And um, this, this mode will get you over those much easier, both up and back down. Uh, drive can be Drive can manually override air suspension and HTC, and the information can be found on the screen. So the older Land Rovers, these screens are not that uh, sophisticated, but some of the newer uh, Defenders and stuff, they're very, very sophisticated screens with a lot of information and everything. So Rock Crawl optimizes for throttle response, transmission, center differential, suspension height, and the braking system. So to summarize, um, again, Land Rover Terrain Response is one of the best in the business. I really like it. It's one of the reasons I continue to keep my Land Rover. Uh, I love the fact that it works together with the uh, air suspension and um, just is a really good suspension. When I learned how to four-wheel drive either in an FJ Toyota, the original FJ, or I had a CJ7 Jeep. None of this stuff existed uh, for the most part, and it was a lot of skill to get through this stuff. These modes take some of the skill out of it, but you still need the skill to identify what the appropriate mode is, when to use it, and how to use it. Uh, one thing I want to also mention is part of uh, the terrain response um, system is making sure that your tires are at the appropriate air down and I can't tell you what that would be but for me with the uh, Mickey Thompson's and I'm running rocks or something like that so I don't have that much profile so I don't want to go down too low but I around 2022 20, uh, if you're in sand and you get really stuck you can drop it lower that will give you some more traction uh, to potentially get out. Just make sure that once you're out that you're going to go back to a re reasonable level. Uh, it's also important to know don't leave these modes in forever. So if you're in rock crawl or you're in sand and you get out of that situation, take it out of that mode. Leaving them in those modes long term could cause some damages, obviously. 
Uh, if one or more of the modes don't uh, work, try to play around with them. Sometimes you have to think outside the box and think what the challenge is and think maybe which one would potentially get you out of the situation that you're in. Um, so um, you want to think of those in terms, again, of more slippery or rock, hard rocks, boulders, trees, things like that, and to pick the appropriate mode. Uh, so below I'm going to put a link to a chart uh, that I found on the internet that really kind of outlines all of these modes and what it does in quite uh, good detail. I'm also going to share with you a couple of videos that I found that are done where they've done some examples with taking the, uh, the Land Rover out and showing you mud and ruts and sand and things like that. Uh, also, my goal this year is as I get into these situations, I'll do a little uh, follow-up email or a follow-up video and kind of show you um, what I would do in a situation and how that, how that uh, mode responds. So if you have any questions or anything, again, put them in the comments below. I really appreciate you stopping by. If you like this channel, I'd uh, really appreciate a like or uh, subscribe. And uh, remember, get outside.